Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So I hope everybody is doing well and staying safe. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make this very, very beautiful 3D rose granny square. I love it. And it's not hard at all to do. Um, and you can make it any size that you want. So you got, it's not sewn on, it's all together. It's made all together. Um, this is the back, so I got a few tails to hide. But, and here is your front, very 3D. Uh, you can always make your rose a little smaller if you wanted to. It's got some leaves there. And you can make your square bigger too, just by going around and around and around. But as it sets, I'll give you a quick measurement. Mine is an 8 inch square. Beautiful. It is beautiful. Now I do want to take a moment to uh, ask you to please not forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, hit that subscribe button and turn the notifications on so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Or any of my yarn content. Also give this video a like if you enjoy. And please check out my playlist of all my other granny squares I have with 3D flowers. I got pretty much any kind of flower you can think of. Lots of people like to use these granny squares to sew together to make afghans. Some people use all my flower granny squares and they make blankets and and uh, or bags out of them and stuff like that. So you guys want to go ahead and get started on this one? Let's do it. So I'm going to set it aside and I'm going to show you what yarn I use for this project. Um... So for this project, I used Premier Basic. It is a uh, medium weight number four, 100% um, acrylic yarn. Now you can use any yarn that you like, but if you want to get it the size as mine, I do recommend you using a four weight yarn. Um, for the flower, I'm going to say it's probably going to take about um 75 yards would be my guess on that uh, of your main color whatever color you choose for your flower for that particular square i used uh taffy for that color and then you're going to need some white which you're probably not going to need much of that if i had to take a guess maybe 40 30 yards 40 yards of that just i use some basic white same brand and for the green i couldn't find any other green than this but it seemed to work out well this is the premier basics as well but it is their marled and the color that i'm using is called foliage marled but of course any green color will work like i said this is all that i can find um and green for some reason and you won't need much of this either um, 30 yards or so of that now I'm going to be showing you in a different color um, I'm going to be using the green and the white that I just showed you but I'm going to be using a red for this one I'm actually going to use red Joann's big twist so like I said you can use any four weight uh, yarn that you want i'm mixing two brands um and i'm just using plain red so it's called deep red so you guys want to go ahead and get started let's do this all right and then i'm going to be using a size j which is a six millimeter crochet hook okay we're going to start out with the flower color first so i'm you know any color you want any color at all all right we're going to start with a slip knot on our hook Now you can do your chain and any even number for the flower, but I'm gonna make a chain of 50, okay? For the flower that I did for my square. So go ahead and chain 50. All right, so once you get your chain of 50 done, what we're gonna do now is we're going to do a single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. Now remember, we never count the one that's on our hook. So there's one and two, single crochet in that second stitch now we're going to work along and we're going to put one single crochet in every stitch for the length of the chain so row one is just one single in every stitch until you get to the end of the row all right when you make it to the end of row one you should have a total of 49 stitches now so let's go ahead and start row two of our flower. We're going to chain one and turn our work. Now that chain one does not count as anything. It's, it's pretending it's not even there. So we're gonna work back into this very first stitch and we're gonna put a V stitch. So what our V stitch consists of for this particular pattern is, we're gonna go back in and we're gonna work one double crochet and then we're gonna chain two and then we're gonna go back into that same spot and work one more double crochet 
So that's our V stitch now. It's a double crochet, chain two, and double crochet. And now we're gonna start the repeat for row two. So we're gonna skip one stitch, so skip, and in the next, we're gonna do the V stitch. We're gonna do a double crochet, a chain of two, and a double crochet. Again, skip one and V stitch in the next. So we work our double, chain two, and double. Skip one, V stitch in the next. So we work our double, chain two, and double. So we're gonna repeat this pattern of chain or skip one and V stitch into the next until we get to the end of our row. It's okay if it starts to look weird and curly. It's going to do that because we're going to roll up roll it up anyway, so that doesn't matter. So I'll see you at the end of row 2. All right, I'm coming to the end of row 2. And once you do this V, you'll have two stitches left. We're going to skip one and we're going to put a V stitch into the last stitch. So we're going to go right into it and work our double, chain two, and double. Now at the end of a row two, you should have 25 V stitches. And see how mine's just an utter mess? It's chaos. It's supposed to be like that. Don't worry about it. Now we're going to start row three. We're going to put the, uh, we're going to do the petals of the rows. So we're going to chain one and turn our work. So the petals are going to be worked inside the chain two spaces. So we're just going to jump right over here to this chain two space and we're going to do, just go directly into it and put seven double crochets. I'm just, I just chained one and I turned. Now I'm just going to yarn over and go directly into this first V stitch and I'm going to work seven doubles. And that is our first petal. Now we're going to start the repeat of row three. So we're going to put a single crochet in this spot in between the V stitches. So here's one V stitch that we just worked the petal in. Here's the other one. Just right here in this spot, we just go directly into the spot and work a single crochet like that. And then we jump to our next V stitch here, the chain two space inside of it, and we work seven double crochets. Like that. And then we're going to single crochet right here in this next little space between the two double crochets. So just go right into that space and single crochet. And repeat right here in the next V stitch, seven doubles. And then, and then this space right here between the V stitches, we single crochet. Now I'm going to keep repeating this pattern until I get to the end of row three. Seven double crochets for the petal in the chain two space, and then single crochet right here in between the V stitches. And I'll be back up with you at the end. All right, so I have made it to the end of row three and I did do seven double crochets into that very last V stitch. Now we're gonna just gonna pull them over and we're gonna end by slip stitching into this first double crochet here. Or this last double crochet. Just go ahead and slip stitch into that double crochet. And now we're gonna tie this off. Clip the yarn. You don't have to clip it like real long because we're not gonna use this yarn to sew. We have to sew at the other end. Okay. So and you should have 25 of these uh, shells now. So that's what it looks like. So now you're going to need a yarn needle and some yarn of the red yarn or whatever color you're using. A um, couple feet of it and we're going to sew this rose up. 
So I'll show you how we're going to do this. Now this sewing it up just takes a little bit of uh, patience, I guess. And you got to kind of adjust it, you know, to get it to your liking. But let's do it. So we're going to start at the opposite end that we just tied off at. So the end that has no tails. And what we're going to do, that first row of single crochet, that's what we're going to sew along. So what I do is I take it and roll it once. Roll it along the single crochet row. And then I'm going to take my yarn needle and I'm going to go through like that and i'm going to start off by tying a knot a little knot here so it doesn't come undone hey you're not going to see it because it's going to be in the middle anyway so okay now we can start sewing it up rolling and sewing that's what we're going to do and remember we're going to use the single crochet very first single crochet row as a guide so i roll it and i'm going to roll it again keeping the single crochet row row a little lined up and every time I roll it I'm going to take my yarn and I'm going to go through the single crochet row like that you'll have to do it more later but for now it's okay just to do it see that watch that's that tail we might have to hide it later I don't know We'll see. But see, every time I roll, I take my yarn and just go through all the rows of single crochet there. And roll again, keeping the single crochet lined up, the single crochet roll, row lined up. Go underneath and go through all of them. We're gonna do this until we get to the end. row and go through that row and tie it roll it again don't worry like I said we'll go through it again later and tighten it up this is just the basic getting a rolled up portion and you want to look at it And if you want, you can start going around like this, a little bit looser, but still making sure you go through that row of single crochet once you do a little roll. Flip it over find my tail see it right there so I'm just gonna go around here through that single crochet row through all of them back to here and again I'm gonna roll up along that row of single crochet then go through them all at the other end and I'm almost to the end here. We have these tails here at the end that we'll have to hide, but uh, go ahead and finish up here. Doesn't have to be, you know, perfect or anything. Just you get it the best you can. And here I am at my very last roll that I'll have to do and attack this end down here like that now I'm gonna go through a few times with my yarn here and underneath these rows of single crochet which will hold it down and it also help hide this tail a 
one thing you can do as well which i'll show you real quick before you hide all the tails when you flip it over what i like to do is kind of twist the middle up a little bit and then you fix your pedals to your likings a little bit and i'm going to go up through the center so i'm going to take my tail that i have and i'm going to go from the underneath up through the center see that right there pull it up tight and then I'm going to go back down through the center. I'm just going to grab like the side of a double there. And then go back down through the center. And I'll help hold that in place there. And then you have to just kind of look and see how my my uh, sides flop in a little bit here. That just means I need to sew it up a little bit more. And if you need to go up more on the sewing, you can. Like, you can go through the petals once you get it all sewn, sewn together. So I think what I'll do is I'll just take my tail here. And go up through this last row of petals. All the way up to my top row. You just kind of, kind of pull it out. And when you go back under, to go back out the other side, go under stitches like that and then back down that way any you're tacking it down but you're hiding hiding a stitch see that looks pretty good and then you just keep doing it until you feel like it's tight and then we'll hide any remaining tails that we have like I said it's okay to come up through the center of the flower just when you go back down go underneath the stitches the petal and then back down that way you can't see that tack that you just made okay and then we're gonna need to hide any remaining tails so these tails here on the end from where we started you can hide them you can just sew them in at the bottom you can use them to tack up your uh, piece but I'm gonna go ahead and finish sewing up all my tails it's pretty I think it looks pretty good but I'm gonna fin I'll finish stacking it up to my liking remember you adjust the petals and you can use any of these cells that you have and this long tail that we used to sew it up to tack down any petals that you'd like all right so there is our rows now we're going to attach some chain spaces so we can attach our leaves so I'm gonna use the green now if you want to do this by eye you can or you can use some stitch markers so what we need to do is evenly mark off four spaces or eight spaces back here so um i usually eyeball it but i'm going to go ahead and use some stitch markers just to show you just anywhere kind of along like this you just put like as a little stitch marker that way you know that's the stitch that you need to go into so then directly down i'll put one it can be you know it this part does not have to be perfect you just need to make sure you have a, a, a spot that you can put eight chain spaces so there's two and then I'm gonna go across this way see I'm just kind of going um, in these double crochet here of the V that is three directly across I, like I said, I usually eyeball it, so I'm not that great at these stitch markers. There's four, and then you got to go in between. So, um, right here would be fine. Remember, it does, does not have to be exact. Just evenly. We're just going to evenly space out our chain spaces the best that we can. Um here I guess that's six I might suggest this like evenly spacing out not using these stitch markers but because they're kind of just kind of getting in my way <laughs> I got one two three four five six let's put another one right here seven yeah these are just obnoxious I think I'm gonna scoot this one over uh, 
uh and add one here okay so there's a there is some you know some are going to be closer than the others and that is completely fine because it's just the spaces where we're gonna <laughs> i feel embarrassed even using the stitch markers because that's not what i normally do but go ahead and start in one of the spots that the stitch markers in but you want to start with your rows where you're working outward like this so i'm going to start right here in this spot <laughs> where the marker is and I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out okay and I'm going to pull my green yarn through I'm gonna chain one and then I'm gonna go back in that same spot and work a single crochet and then I'm going to chain four one two three four now I'm gonna go to my next spot where there is a stitch marker if you're not using the stitch markers with I probably recommend just evenly space out eight chain four spaces but the single crochet there in between see so right there and they're not all going to be perfectly even single crochet then i'm going to chain four and i'll go to my my next spot here take that stitch marker out go right under there single crochet chain four Take out that marker, go to my next spot, which appears to be around this stitch. Single crochet, chain four. Go to my next marker, which appears to be here around this space, this double crochet. I'm going, uh, working single crochets and chain spaces around those double crochets of the V stitches of the petals chain four let's see where my next one is looks like he's right here single crochet chain four one two three four five next one Single crochet, chain four. Next one. This is probably the hardest part of the whole thing. And it's not even hard. I just made it look hard with those stitch marks stitch markers all right so we got one two three four five six seven and then i chain the four for my eighth space and i'm going to go ahead and end by slip stitching into my first single crochet okay now it is not hard the, those stitch markers were just a bad idea thought maybe it'd be helpful but just just evenly space out eight chain four spaces like that um with single crochets there hold them on to these uh, double crochets of the petals okay that's what you got to do i should have just said that that would have been easier all right now we're going to start so we just ended we have eight chain spaces now what we're going to do is we are going we slip ended by slip stitching into that first single crochet so now we're going to slip stitch into the first chain four space we're gonna chain one and single crochet into the space and then we're gonna chain three one two three and we're gonna jump over here to the next chain space now this is where we're gonna put um, a set of three leaves okay so what we're gonna do all into this chain space we're going to start off our first leaf by putting triple crochet three together so we're going to yarn over twice like a triple crochet and we're going to go into that chain space and we're going to draw up a loop we're going to yarn over and go through the first two loops and then yarn over and go through the next two loops we want to do that three times total so that was number one and you want to pull them over as you go so again, yarn over twice, 
go into the same chain space, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops, yarn over and go through the next two loops. So that's two times. Again, yarn over twice, go into the same chain space, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops, yarn over, go through the next two loops. You should have four loops that remain because we've done, we have done it three times. Yarn over and go through all four loops like that. So that's your double crochet three together. And then you need to chain three, one, two, three. Now go ahead and pull it over. And now we're going to do a double, triple crochet three together. It's not hard, it's just a taller stitch. So for the double, triple crochet three together, we're gonna yarn over three times. One, two, three. Go into the same chain space, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops, yarn over, go into the next two loops, and yarn over and go through the next two loops. And again, we need to do that three times. So that was number one. Again, yarn over three times. One, two, three. Go into the same chain space, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops, yarn over and go through the next two loops, yarn over, go through the next two loops. That's two times we've done that. We need to do it once more. Yarn over three times. One, two, three. Go into the chain space, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through the first two, yarn over, go into the next two, yarn over and go into the next two. So we have done that three times and you should have four loops that remain. Yarn over and go through all four loops. And that is your uh, double, triple crochet three together. And then we're gonna chain three. One, two, three. Now we're gonna do one more time um, the triple crochet three together in the same chain space. So I did a chain three. So we're gonna do this small leaf again, right here in the same chain space. That's why I say to slide them over. So yarn over twice, like you're gonna do a triple, go in there, draw up a loop, and yarn over and go through the first two, yarn over and go through the next two. Again, yarn over twice, go through the same space, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through the first two, yarn over, go through the next two. One last time, yarn over twice, go into the same space, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through the first two, next two, four loops remain, a yarn over and go through all four, chain three, and then we're gonna go to our next chain space and single crochet into it, just like that. So we got our first set of leaves done. And we're gonna have four sets because these are gonna act as the corners of our square. So now we need to repeat it. We need to chain three and jump over to our next chain space. We just single crocheted in this one, chain three, jump over to our next one and repeat all this again. So we're gonna do our double crochet or our triple crochet three together. Four loops remain, yarn over and go through all four, and then we're gonna chain three, slide it on over. Now we're gonna do our double triple crochet three together. This is where we yarn over three times into the same chain space.
four loops remain yarn over and go through all four chain three and then we're gonna do triple crochet three together into the same chain space so the small leaf again Four loops remain and yarn over and go through all four chain three go to the next chain space and single crochet into that chain space and now we have another set of leaves done and we've created two corners so this is what we're going to repeat all the way around so we single crochet into this chain space and we're going to chain three and we're going to do our set of leaves again into the next chain space and then remember we'll single crochet we'll have our chain three single crochet chain three into the next chain space and then we'll do our set of leaves again so we're going to continue this repeating this pattern until we get back around to our starting point all right so i have come to the end i just did my last set of leaves so I'm going to make sure I chain three after my last leaf and I'm going to end by slip stitching into my very first single crochet that we made into our first chain space here. So we're just going to slip stitch into that and we can tie this color off because we no longer need the green. We are done with the leaf portion. Okay, now I'm going to bring in my white and we're going to start squaring it off. So what it kind of looks like okay okay so the corners of our square are going to be made in the tops of the double triple crochet three togethers so the big leaf this very top portion of it and that's where we're going to make our four corners so go ahead and start in, in the top of any one of the big leaves right there see the stitch if you pull it out you'll be able to see it go right into it and this is how we'll start it we'll go ahead and pull our yarn through and chain one now i'm going to go back into that spot and i'm going to work two double crochets there's one and two then i'm going to chain two go back into the same spot and work two more double crochets So that is the corner, the first corner. Now we're going to work across into these chain three spaces. So I'm going to jump over here to the next chain three space and I'm going to work three double crochets into that space. And I'm going to work three double crochets into every chain three space until I get to my next corner or my next large leaf that we made. So it's three doubles in each of these chain three spaces. And now I'm at my big leaf. I did three double crochets in this chain space. Here's my big leaf. So right here into the top of it, I need to do a corner. So I need to go right into the top of it and I need to work two double crochets, a chain of two and two more double crochets. And now we're going to repeat again. We're going to put three double crochets in each of the chain three spaces until we get to our next big leaf or to the space where we need to put our corner. Every chain three space gets three double crochets.
and now I'm at my big leaf right here and I you can see it popping open that's where you need to put your corner so you go right there into that spot and you work two doubles chain two and two more doubles now I'm going to repeat this pattern all the way around until I get back to my starting point okay so I've come around here and you should have a total of 64 stitches all the way around and we do not count the chain spaces as, as stitches so 64 double crochets with four chain two spaces so we're going to go ahead and end by slip stitching into our first double crochet now I'm going to go around again so I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch two times to my first chain two space. And I'm going to put the corner right here in this chain two space. I'm going to chain one, go back in, and I'm going to work two doubles, chain two, and two doubles. Now I'm going to work a double crochet in every single stitch across until I get to my next chain two space. And sometimes this first double crochet hides, so it's always a good idea to pull over these stitches so you don't miss him, so your square is not lopsided. And now it's just one double in every stitch until you get to your next chain two space. And when you get to your next chain two space, you're going to do the same thing that you do in every corner. You're going to work two doubles, a chain two, and two doubles. And then you'll continue around putting one double crochet in every stitch into your next chain two space. And you'll repeat that pattern all the way around until you get back to your starting point. So I'm coming up on my corner here or my chain two space. I'm just going to go right in it and work two doubles, chain two, and two more doubles. And then I'll start again by putting a one double crochet in every stitch across. Remember not to get the very first guy. Sometimes he hides, sometimes he doesn't. So I'm going to repeat this pattern and I'll meet back up with you at the beginning. All right, I'm coming to the end here, and I'm going to go ahead and end by slip stitching into my first double crochet. You should have a total of 80 stitches now, and four of the chain um, two spaces. Now, you can continue to go around and around in the same manner that we just did for as big as you want your square. I'm going to stop here, but if you choose to do that, your stitch count will always increase by 16 more stitches. But I'm going to go ahead and tie off here. And I am going to do one more round. So I'm going to bring back in my red. I'm going to do the same thing that we've been doing, but I'm going to be doing it in single crochet. So I'm going to start in any of the chain two spaces. And I'm going to chain one. Now I'm going to work back into the chain two space. And I'm going to work two single crochets. There's one, two, a chain of two and two more single crochets into the same space. Now I'm going to work around putting one single crochet in every stitch until I get to my next chain two space. So it's actually like I, it's like I said it's the it's just what a repeat of what we've been doing except for we're doing a single crochet versus double crochet. So one single crochet in every stitch until I get to my next chain two space and there we'll put two singles, chain two, and two singles. And I'm going to continue that pattern all the way around and I'll meet back up with you when I get back to my starting point. All right, I'm coming to the end. Um, you'll have a total of 96 stitches now, and you want to go ahead and end by slip stitching into your first single crochet, and then we can tie that off, and then we'll want to hide any remaining tails that we have, and then we are finito. I like it. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. So many color combos. 
I think what would be beautiful would be like all different colors of roses made into a bag or a blanket. That would be so pretty. Now, if you make this or just the square, or if you make anything out of it, please show me a picture on my Facebook page or on my Instagram. There's links to those below in the description box. Don't forget to look at all my other flower crochet uh, granny squares. I have many, many different flowers. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that like button, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye, everybody.